two, one, and we're live. All right, what is up? Welcome to the Famous Wolf Strength and Fitness Gym Companion. This is podcast episode number four. Welcome to the show. So the way this will edit is the background on your phone or the home screen. And then you can just you get lost as we go along this workout. You can just refer back to the said screenshot and uh, you don't have to go, you don't have to bother with texting people, responding to your notifications, any of that bullshit. Just keep your head in the game. Listen to me. And we'll get some good fucking work in. So, um, yeah. Just getting a warm up started now first. So, we're starting every workout with a dynamic warm up. So, dynamic warm up of your choice. I might have a little bit of video posted with this. Just kind of show some of the workouts that I do, some of the dynamic warm ups that I do. So, you can do what you want. Main thing is, uh, don't do a lot of static stretching. This is all meant to be dynamic. Uh, it's going to prep your nervous system. It's also not going to reduce any force production capacity in your muscle, which static stretching has been shown to do. The only reason you see static stretch before you work out is if you're doing it as a corrective stretch. For instance, if you're about to deadlift and you got really tight anterior shoulders and chest, um, then Maybe stretching out the chest is not a bad idea. That'll put you in a good position for the said deadlift. And uh, so that should be about the only reason you do anything like that. Otherwise, keep it all dynamic. So stay moving and uh, get a little heavy breathing going. You know, wake your body up. That's all the warm ups meant to do. But the warm up's going to set you right for the rest of the workout day. So, all that stuff out of the way. We're doing it. It's, it's, uh, so, so, when you're listening to this, it'll be 2020. Okay? Right now, I'm stuck back in time in 2019. It is the 31st of December. And, Meatheads Rejoice. The one you've been waiting for. It's chest day. So, exciting shit. Get ready. Again, go through five minutes. I'm just doing some dynamic skips right now. All right. Yeah, guys, so it's a new fucking decade. What you going to do with this 10 years? You going to do the same shit? This 10 years is the last 10 years? Keep telling yourself you're going to do something different? You going to do the same shit? <laughs> nope. I hope not. I know I'm not. Um, 10 years. So, yes, new decade. 2020 has just begun. And... That's exciting for a lot of us. Maybe you enjoyed the last 10 years, maybe you didn't. Fuck it. It's a new decade now. It's a new time. So let's try to make this an upward progression. Um, 10 years is also significant for me because since October, eh, September or so, this year. That is my 10 year anniversary of getting really into lifting weights and actually going to the gym all the time. So um, it's a significant time for me. 10 years is a long time. I've never, uh, I've never had a lapse in physical activity since I really started and picked it up that first day in, uh, in the gym, lifting after work. In that transition year between high school and college, wasn't sure what I was doing as far as a career went. Didn't know what direction I was heading. 
and then uh, picked up some weights, and uh, here we are. So pretty cool for me. Oh, nice to kind of look back and get a little nostalgic. Man, it's a good time of year to do all that. I never really brought it up or thought about it on the actual 10 years. But it's kind of cool to bring it out and think about it now. If nothing else, just to look back and see where you were at and how fucking dumb you were. <laughs> Hopefully. But if you ain't looking back and thinking, oh, that was the best year of my life. Because uh, it's kind of sad. Always should be moving up. All right. Um, I'm warm, so we're going to go ahead and start this workout. I'm in a crowded gym right now. Uh, they're closing this bitch down early today since it's New Year's Eve. For some reason, I guess people got to prepare to go out and get fucking wasted. Got to prep themselves in some way, so... For me, I will not be getting wasted tonight. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if that's your thing, have fun. Just don't die. So I'm looking for, we're going to start with an incline bench today. And I'm lucky enough to come upon a bench with some weight loaded on it. If someone failed to break down, always break down your shit. For me, in this case, there's enough weight on here where I can warm up with the shit, so. <clears throat> Thanks, pussy. Um, and so, yeah, find yourself an incline bench, guys. This is where we're going to get started. Uh, we're going to get one or two warm-up sets in before we start the working sets. So, uh, get set. Hopefully this music isn't too loud in here. I got this shit cranked up. Today they don't have TMZ playing on the main screen, which is a, a nice welcome change. For some reason this fucking place has the cooking channel. HTV or HGTV, whatever that shit is, that people waste their time watching about renovating their homes. All right, uh, I'm under the bar, so we're just going to do a warm-up set now. Just uh, about 10 reps, somewhere in there. That's where we're going to get started. So. In. Oh, good. It should feel good to you. You should be going through the full range of motion. Um, you should probably be at about a 3 or a 4 out of 10 uh, degree of difficulty. You should be able to pump out 20 of those, no problem. But then just stop at 10. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty proper warm up there. Stop pushing that. What else is that? Uh, not much with me. I uh, released a video yesterday on how to deadlift without any back pain. It's a new concept to some people. The old adage, no pain, no gain, <laughs> is uh, something a lot of people live by. Uh, to a degree, I agree. But uh, not when it comes to lifting ball busting weight. And then not when it comes to possibly fucking crippling your body for the years to come. You're feeling pain when you're lifting really heavy. You may need to assess your form. Yeah. Assess what the hell you're doing anyway. Uh, that's just me. You should check out that video. It's a nice video. I synced it up to... Uh, I synced the video and the audio from the podcast. It was a little excerpt. So, uh... 
it was a heavy deadlift I caught on film for anybody who uh, doesn't think I can doesn't think I can hurt. I'll have another video coming out where, uh, on actually critiquing and assessing someone's deadlift like in real time and you can see the actual changes that the cues make as far as like on their form and their exercises go. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm excited to post that one because it's like it's something that you can actually see. It's the adjustments I make on the fly which then produce a really nice looking deadlift without any pain with more weight that makes the lift easier so be on the lookout subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it famouswolfsf.com at famouswolfsf and uh, of course definitely subscribe to the youtube page so that uh, I know motherfuckers are watching this shit and I'm not wasting my time alright speaking of not wasting time another warm up now Your hands should be uh, outside your shoulder width on this. They shouldn't be too wide. You'll reduce the range of motion too much, um, unless that's what you're aiming to do. But uh, me, I've just got a medium grip here. Ten. Just do ten and then the rack. Uh, yeah, just keep it right outside of your shoulders to give you uh, good activation in your chest. Good video your shoulders on this incline and then. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Just, uh, don't go too wide. Don't go too narrow, you'll be fucking up your triceps. Alright, we started something pretty easy here. I think, uh, don't go too heavy on incline, but we might do dumbbells and shit. So, uh, with these, uh, gym companions, Unlike some other things I do, I come in here without a plan because I'm going to a commercial gym and I never know what the fuck's going to be open. So it's hard to come in here with a plan and then have to wait for some motherfucker taking 15 minutes between sets to text and, and down a bagel or some shit while I'm sitting here holding my dick in my hands trying to do a podcast. So. I'll be moving on the fly on these, it's kind of, kind of loose structure, but uh, I've done this so long where I know how to pair exercises and what to do back and forth, how to superset, what variations I need to apply if, uh, if I'm limited in any way, so uh, that's my shit, but I kind of know what I'm doing. Alright, so let's do the first working set. We're going to start with 12 reps. For me, I've just got, um, uh, 155 on the bar, so we're not going to go too heavy right now. So get something you can do for probably 15 reps, 16 reps, and just do it for 12, okay? Okay, get set. Feet flat. Ass down, shoulders back. Bend up. Good tempo, kind of slow down, then fast up. All right, should be twelve. It's about a six out of ten for me. Um, second set. I'll add another 10 to each side. So I put two 10s on a 45, and I'll get me at uh, 175 for the next one. Uh, so, other thing I like about doing these podcasts, um, it's shit I do anyway, and I just get to put it on film and audio and have a record of it, but also uh, I like conversing. Conversation. Uh, right now it's a one-way conversation. 
I might look a little fucking crazy if I talk to myself a little time. But uh, I don't give a fuck about anyone else in here. As far as what they think about me. And uh, number two, it can be a two way conversation. You just gotta leave me some comments in the box down below. I'd like to get a little bit more of uh, some activity going in my comment box. It can be good or bad, I don't give a fuck what it says. I've been getting a little bit of interaction, which I appreciate from you peeps out there. But we can get better. Make this two way. So I'd like to hear your thoughts about anything I'm spewing into your ears. Or just, you know, say, good shit, bro. I fucking love listening to you lift weights. And I fucking love having you as my training partner. Anything, you know? You can get creative. Whatever you want. All right, all right, all right. Hit that quick six. So, oh, man. looks like it was been about 10 minutes, maybe 11, 12. Oh, no. This gym has no, uh, maybe 11. No timers, no clocks. Evidently, like I'm that. still in decent shape. Because uh, like the last lap was my fastest. Recovery time. So and I'm going to feel. I'd like to go another mile. But it ain't about that today. But, uh, like I said, this is active rest. Kind of loose. For me, yeah, running so. is not hard. It's just constant. You know, I'm not getting too serious with this. However, keep on going. Keep on going. Getting toast in person, then. You never really have any adversity. You just got to build up. Keep everything. There is no going from zero to a marathon. That's why. It's enjoyable, but there's also not necessarily a, a barrier you have to push through. You just got to build up. Like just like with now, a lot of things. Uh, we're going to aim for 10 reps on this. Uh, yeah. We'll see about another round of shadow boxing Add to cool off. Load if you can. If that last swell was moderately easy, or just moderate, you can add like maybe 5%, maybe 2.5. Um, Drink your water. Side, maybe a 5 or whatever. Second set is 10 reps. So get ready, get set. And, uh, About a six still for me, so um, set it. I'm gonna do a 25 and then I may throw a five on it. Uh, nah, I'll just do a 25. Ain't trying to set no fucking record today. Just uh, we got a full day of working out ahead. Like I said, we might go heavy at some point. So I'll just do a 25 and we'll do another set of 10 here. We'll do four sets today, starting off on the climb. Four working sets. All right, my bar is ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, I was reading something earlier. It was uh, online, kind of like a forum in a way. Somebody, somebody made a post. Two people were talking shit, just hating in this comment box about something. And uh, someone was like, You got nothing nice to say? <laughs> Don't say anything at all. And someone was like, Then another commenter was like, um, I'd rather have hate speech than not have a voice at all. Blah, blah, blah. And like those words right there, I would rather see hate speech than to not have a voice at all. That is exactly a fucking problem with culture and society right now. Is everyone wants to have a fucking voice and an opinion, something special they have to say. But when all you have is hate speech to spew out and all you have is negativity, you really just are not saying anything at all. That voice of yours uh, it, it is bringing nothing good with it. And with it, you're just taking attention away from things that probably should be talked about rather than your bullshit and your negativity. Because uh, that's like a virus or a disease. It's catchy. 
one person keeps fucking bullshit and complaining, more people are inclined to do the same exact thing. And with all these motherfuckers out here just want to get famous and, you know, like, I, like that guy said, just have a voice, you know, regardless of what the fuck the voice is saying, they just want to, oh, let's say something. And what I say to you is shut your fucking mouth. All right. Speaking of shutting your fucking mouth, we got set number three now. We're going to do 10 reps. Three, two, one, up. Ooh. Ten reps done. Six and a half right there. Um, yeah, so. Just going back to our last point. Shut your fucking mouth. You have nothing good to say. You don't need to hear your shit. You don't just gotta fucking complain for the sake of complaining because you don't agree with something, motherfucker. Especially whenever it's subjective most of the time. It just comes down to your fucking opinion and facts aren't involved. That's what a lot of these fucking idiots out here like to do is just say, this, you know, you're doing that for this reason and like assuming everything and putting their opinion and spin on it. Just shut the fuck up. All right. Um, four set. We'll do eight. I am just uh, I'm just gonna put a five on the end, so that'll make this uh, 195 for eight. I'm definitely not pushing this to failure. I could do. I could definitely do more, but. I'm saving a little bit of juice for the rest of this workout. I'm feeling good today. How about you? Good. So, this is just the first set. We'll save a little bit. We'll really get it popping. <sighs> okay, last set. Eight reps under the bar. Get your fingers set. Okay. Another thing on these bench presses, man, is you need to gauge your wrists. You need to check to make sure your wrists aren't snapping back and the barbell is directly in line with your forearm. Otherwise, you're leaking power. It's called a lever arm. If you have a big lever arm where your wrists are bent back and there's nothing below the barbell besides your knuckles, and you're fucking up and you're leaking power. You need to turn your knuckles down like you're revving up a bike and keep your wrist straight as you lift. That way you're not leaking power and you're getting a more efficient lift. You're also not fucking breaking your wrists, okay? Three, two, one, up. Oh. Two. Three. Ah. Ah. All right, break it down. We're done here. Okay, felt pretty nice. I'm warmed up now. Um, we'll look to find a machine after this. We just did a free weight before set, so that's what we're looking for now. Find something to kind of isolate, target a certain muscle, and give the give all the stabilizer muscles a little break. Shoulders got work pretty heavy on the same time, so. Let's go fucking play. Seek the open machine. 
so I'm on the move. Ooh, man, they got good hammer strength machines in here. Ooh, yes. They're all open. Of course they are. These are a little bit harder than those typical cables, so we're in business here. I'm going to look for a, uh, a flat or a decline one. Okay, okay, so here's a decline one. I haven't done this decline yet. Uh, this gym just started. So we're going to try out this decline machine right now. So if you can, if you have the same machine in your gym, it is the hammer strength. Uh, I mean, I've, I've done this machine before, but this is a new machine. Uh, it's just the basic hammer strength isolateral decline press. So look for that in your gym. It's plate loaded. Uh, and this is what we're going to do next up. So, uh, yep, that's it. Yep, yep. Yo, so, um, sorry about that. I had some technical difficulties with this recording. I'm not sure where it cut off. Um, I gotta, uh, damn it. I gotta get my shit right on here. Uh, I'm still looking for like a podcast hosting app. Right now I'm using the memory on my phone to record and then I'm sending it via email and then I'm downloading that and then I'm putting it into my computer and syncing it up with an editing program. Um, it's a lot of steps, but it doesn't cost me money, and uh, I'm just not trying to blow a bunch of money doing this shit. I'm not making any fucking thing on it. I'm not making anything because not enough people are watching yet. So uh, I'm just doing the work now, but fuck, uh, that just cut off. I don't know where it, it cut off, like I said, but I did do two sets of bilateral uh, machine decline presses and then two sets of unilateral machine bilateral decline presses. And then I was uh, on the prowl for a machine fly, which I have found and located. Um, sorry for missing out on that action. Hopefully, um, you didn't miss too much. So, find yourself a fly. Um, right now, I am on the Life Fitness pectoral fly slash rear deltoid machine. So, it's just a basic fly. Um, you just see it in a lot of places. So find one of those and uh, I'm set and I'm ready to go so I'm going to do the first set uh, I'm going to do a little higher reps on this first one probably like 15 reps okay because it's a fly we're switching up kind of the degree of difficulty here okay so I've done three and this weight is light so I'm going to bump it down a little bit it's too light to work with so I'm at 70 on the machine now uh, we'll see how this one feels. So, 15 reps here, I'm seated. Okay. So on this, you just want to make sure that you keep a little bit of a bend in your elbow. Don't just have your fucking elbows locked out while you're doing these flies. Keep all the tension and and uh, connectivity into your chest. Reach out pretty far, stretch out, and then boom, come in with the contraction. Squeeze it for a second and release. Eight. Ten. You should feel good. Eleven. Don't push the weight on these. Fourteen. Okay. One set down. That was a set of fifteen. Uh, probably about a four out of ten for me. So I'm going to bump it down uh, 30 pounds from 70 to 100, and we'll do the second set. This one will look to do 12 reps, so build a little bit of muscle on this one. All right, all right, all right. So about 40 minutes into this workout, I'm moving fast today. The weight's moving easy. And I'm starting to get that blood pump in these here chesticles. So they're filling up. And that's what you should be feeling too. That blood just means you're traumatizing that goddamn muscle. It's saying, fuck, 
What you're doing is tearing me the fuck up. So I need some blood. I need some recovery. Fibers are damaged. Send me some fucking reinforcements. I need some relief. That's what that pump is. Just reinforcements. Your body's recovery system. Coming in. Alright. Your own personal set of doctors. Oh, and these doctors don't let you down. And they don't lie to you. So, these are the doctors you want to have. Pump it up. Pump it up. Okay. I'm seated. Second set. We're going to do 12 reps. And go. Four. These machines are fucking smooth as butter. These are all new machines. People haven't fucked them up yet. Six. Seven. Eight. We're going to do a negative on this 12th one. So bring it in to contract and then let go as slow as possible. But keep the bar moving all the way back. Let it move fragment by fragment of an inch. Contract here and now let it go as slow as you possibly can. Fight the resistance to draw back. Let the muscles stretch, 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 and keep holding on. Keep holding on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. And done. All right. Quick. Um, that was a negative. So uh, particularly damaging to the muscle is that shortening or the, the stretch cycle um, of the lift. So that's actually what damages your muscles. Um, athletes out there, you see them doing pushes and sprints and uh, like sled drags. That's all concentric action. There's no eccentric phase on those lifts. And that's why athletes can continue to train hard and compete at a high level because they're not in there with a fucking sore back. They're not in there uh, debilitated in any way for athletic performance. Uh, that's how athletes train is they, they kind of mitigate the eccentric phase or eliminate it altogether. Uh, and that builds up power. It can build up speed. Uh, it doesn't grow their muscles, though. And... Uh, that's the whole point of doing this, is just to grow a little bit of muscle here, doing a fly. Um, not much else used for a fly. You know? It puts us at a weird angle if we're going to be pushing with all of our might. You don't want to be pushing with your arms all the way out distally. The, more, the further away your arms are from your body, the weaker they are. So why would you want to push something heavy with your arms so fucking far away and just using your chest and your inferior shoulder to do it? doesn't make any fucking sense. But most trainers wouldn't know that because they don't know a goddamn thing anyway. They shouldn't be trainers in the first place. They're basically cheerleaders. But, <laughs> that's just me. So I'm down to 115 now. I'm going to do another set of 12. This time we're doing two negatives, all right? So on the 10th, bring it back real slow. On the 11th, bring back, contract again, bring it back real slow. So two negatives now. Okay, three. Two, one, go. Nine. Okay, on this tenth one, you're gonna hold. Ten. Hold, squeeze, contract. Now let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Real slow. Real slow. Real slow. Real slow. All the way back. Okay. And again. Eleven. Slow, 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 let it go, 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 let it go. One more. In and out. We're doing three. Fake out. Okay, let it go. Slow, slow, slow. All right. Good work. And uh, now what you're going to do, stand up, drop the weight that you were working with on that set in half. So for me, I'm going to 55 pounds down from 115. Now we're going to do eight reps right now. Go. One, two, three. Four. Your chest should be fucking screaming at you right now. Five, six, seven, nine, eight. All right. Good. You ain't got a pump now. You're probably fucking dead. All right. Good shit. So that was a little uh, spice added. Some negatives there and a drop set. Call that a drop set right there. Cut the weight in half and then squeeze out whatever you got left. 
now I'm going to finish this off with some dumbbells. And I'm feeling like I'm feeling pretty fatigued in the chest, actually. So we'll do dumbbells, but it'll be a variation. A little variation on here. So just find a flat bench and uh, we're going to get started here. Finish off this day. Damn. I don't think there's any flat bench left in this ditch. And here's an adjustable bench that one seems to be on. I'm gonna flatten it out. In the shit. Alright, how you feeling? Still with me? You bad motherfucker? Yes, sir, there you are. We in this bitch. I'm not sure my shit is still recording. Alright, good. Good shit. Still on. Damn, that sucks. I fucking hate when things like that happen. But, you know what? I'm gonna learn from that shit. Make sure I got enough space and memory on my goddamn phone before I start recording next time. So, turn that negative into a fucking positive. Frown upside down, motherfucker. It's 2020 in this bitch. Quit fucking complaining. And just adjust. Alright, I am going to look to do, so, um, I don't even know what this is called that I do, I call it the 2X press, because back when I was known as Christopher 2X, I started doing a lot of these dumbbell presses in the gym, so basically you're going to grab two dumbbells, um, and then you're going to get into a chest press position on a flat bench, from there you're going to come up as if, no sir, from there, you're going to come up as if you were uh, going to do a fly. So your hands are going to be neutral grip. So neutral grip, you're going to come up, uh, have the dumbbells directly over your chest, and you're going to keep pressure, pushing pressure into each dumbbell. So you're like going to be, you're going to be applying inward pressure, just like you're at the end of a fly, and you're then you're going to perform an up and down motion similar to a chest press. So you're going to drop it right over your sternum and then press straight up. So we're just going to be moving up and down while keeping inward pressure with the dumbbells. So that's going to really wreck the mid chest and get you feeling right so we can get the fuck out of here. Um, uh, start with something kind of light if you haven't done this before. Maybe 20s, maybe 30s. I'm going to even start myself with a 35. So, I got 35s. And, uh, about to get this rocking. Alright. Get all set. And we're just start off light here. We're going to do 10 reps on this. So, we're going to do. We're going to do sets of 10. All 10 on this. So, this is, uh, this is kind of an isolation, kind of a compound. Because it's free weight, but uh, everything 10, all 10 on here. Okay, bring them back and up. Okay, so directly over your chest, push those dumbbells together, lower down to your chest, and then extend. Your elbow should be at your side in the bottom. Two. Five at the top, just flex and squeeze your chest. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Lock out with your triceps, squeeze with your chest. Ten. All right. Rack them. It was really easy for me. A little more strong than I thought today. Um, I'm going to grab something I can feel. I'll just do 45s. We're going to move kind of quick between these, so get your next working set in your hand. I'd like to start in a minute. Feeling good. 
second sets not to go down. Okay. So three, two, one. Bring them back. Stand up. Extend them over your chest. Okay. Now keep the inward pressure. You're going ten. One, two, three. Keep squeezing. Four. Breathe. Yeah, all right, still pretty easy for me. We'll do 55s. All right. Grab those bitches. All right. Get a little drink of water. I'm finishing off my meals right now. Perfect timing. Drop me a comment if you participate in these resolutions. Let me know what the hell you got planned. Because you know, if you put something out there in the universe, if you write it down on a sheet of paper, or if you make it known to the public what you're going to be doing, that's the number one rule of goal setting. You've got to hold yourself accountable. So if you can't hold yourself accountable, other people will. Best believe that. They'll be real quick to jump on your ass if you don't do it. Or if you're falling off. So, let me know what the fuck you guys are doing in this new decade in the new year, 2020. Participate. That's all I want. I'll help you. You help me. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscription. Let's do it. Alright, 55s. That's what I'm doing right now. So, keep moving up if you can. You don't have to move up each set. Okay, third set of ten coming up now. Up. All right. All right. Ten went down pretty easy. We're doing one more set. We'll make it four. Because I don't feel like stopping. Moving up again. I'll do 65. Uh, this one should feel about right. Again, you don't have to move up between each set. I just am. Because I'm fucking unrelenting. But I'm also an expert at this kind of thing. So... I do expert shit. Doesn't mean you have to do the same. We're all on different levels. There are levels to the game. Remember that. Believe that. So I'm going up 10 to 65 to finish off. Hang on. It's onward and upward for the day. And we're right about at an hour. So this is perfect timing. Keeping with the structure. All right, let's grab those dumbbells. All right, let's do our last set. This is it for the day. Dumbbells up. Nine. Ah, all right, perfect. All right. Put your feet up on a bench. We're doing a last burnout set, incline push-ups. Feet up on a bench. 
Hands shoulder width up to 20. Get down and go. Hands down, go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Squeeze nineteen. Yes, sir. All right. Well, motherfuckers, that is a wrap. Um, welcome to the new year. I sincerely hope you started it off right. If you're listening to this, I assure you, you're on the right foot. Especially if you made it to this point. I fucking appreciate you listening. That is no lie. Keeps me going. Be sure to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed. And if you're just having a good old time, subscribe to the channel. That helps me out more than you know. Helps this channel grow. Shout me out on your favorite social media platforms. Leave me comments. Communicate with me. Like I said, let's make this a two-way conversation. I don't want to talk at you. I want to talk with you. Okay? Happy New Year to you. Thanks so much. This is Famous Wolf signing off for the evening. Love you guys. Peace.